Happy Saturday, all. Magnificent to see so many on. Happy Saturday. Happy one hour of power. Good morning. Yes. Come on. We love it, Shano, getting up and about. As everyone rolls on, just get your runners on. Tie your laces up. Getting ready to move in about 40 seconds. Walking, jogging, whatever you want to do. Lovely to see you all on here. People are rolling on still, so we'll be patient with them. But we will get moving very, very shortly. But good morning. Lots to get through. We'll have a good chat. We'll get moving. If you're feeling good halfway through and you want to have a genuine bloody go at it, then have a go at it. But let everyone roll on. Before I chat too much, if you're feeling good today, you can definitely go for it later on in the in the program for sure. But it's just an hour to get you up and about, get you moving. Going to cover a bit, few topics that we talk about on some Monday sessions as well. Good morning, all. It is a magnificent time to be alive. We're going to cruise. Now, I think everyone might know the system or might be on some form of that, but if you don't, it's all based on perceived rate of exertion about how you feel. So we're going to talk about this a little bit, but it's really important that you know it, and there's no comparison to how you felt last week or to who you're running with or whatever. So when I call out things like 60%, you can do it all day, power walk, jog, whatever. 70%, a bit quicker than that, but you can still talk. 80% starting to work. We call it like half marathon rhythm. 85, probably can say a few words at a time, like 10K type rhythm, if that. 90% is really bloody hard now. That's 5K type pace, very hard. 95 and above is really hard. But if you're walking on these sessions, you can just – power walking and oscillate your speeds on the walk and same goes for riding, rowing and everything else. Oh yeah, good work, Stricko's in Sydney, we love to see it. Um, let's. Uh, good to see a bit of a romantic getaway up there in Sydney. So we're going to go two minutes at 60%, we're going to go in about 20 seconds, 60% for two minutes to get everyone up and about. We'll welcome everyone in the sesh over the next five or six minutes. Ready? Let's go. Two minutes at 60%. Soft feet, light feet from the outset. Set the tone from the outset. Just cruising. So 60%. If you're first two minutes of the morning and you're just jumping out of bed and you go, geez, this is a bit harder than I thought it was going to be this morning. Detach. Detach from those thoughts and detach from those negative emotions. All that normal path you'd go down. And let's take a normal another path. Let's change change some pathways here, soft feet, light feet, we are in control of this rhythm. Oh, I'm looking at me, watch, you 60%. 60%, you're not looking at your bloody watch. You're just getting foot and high cadence, high cadence, soft feet, light feet. Right, eh? 60% welcome. Keep going. you got a minute, 10 seconds to go, jogging or walking, whatever you want. Welcome, Emsy, White Dogs, Willow, Shano, Pooley and Fred Poole, Trent Castle, he's done about... 150k in the last week. Leashy Page, welcome. Leashy King, welcome. Kevy Russell, Mickey Wainwright, KP Bass from the Wit Sundays, welcome the Wit Sundays workhorse. The Big Cheese, that's 70 seconds down. Welcome Trent Castle. No, sorry. Who are they? are all moving all over me. 32, Joe Cam, Amanda Smitty, Step B, Tails. We've got names everywhere. Shazzy, Tashi B, Big Ferg, Renee from South Australia. Magnificent work. 90 seconds, so 30 to go. The Smitler, CPC, Kelly McGongle. I've got names everywhere, but welcome, everyone. This is magnificent to see. 20 seconds cruising. Drop the rib cage and really relax into your rhythm. That's the key. Relax into it and feel into the rhythm. Don't try to force and force against it. Just accept where you are right now. 10 seconds. Five seconds. Recover, suck it in. Magnificent work. Being a Saturday, there might be a lot of regulars on their long run, and that's great. So just let this, you can keep running or you can do the interval, whatever you want. Just tune in for us. So good morning. Good morning, all. Good morning, Mobsy. Magnificent vibe session with Mobsy yesterday. Leashy King, Kaza, Louis Lunas, Strickos. Everyone's jumping on. Debbie Burke, Tazzy, Mrs. Foz, Maddie Law, Smitler. Good morning, all. The Spare Sand Malone, Julesy Popples, good morning. Sonia Law, Mick Sharkey, Tazi Bell, good morning. Salzy, Steffi B, good morning all. 
Shazzy, good morning. Spiritual leader, everyone, 32. We love it. Leishy Page, Rene Shearer from South Australia, sucking it in. We're going to go two minutes at about 75%. So we've been bit newer to this. 75% is whatever. You can definitely still talk, okay? So it's like a pace you might be able to run for a while or, or power walk for a while or ride for a while. Let's go. Two minutes at 75%, Lozzie McGigan, Sean Cambo. Now I've got Amanda and I've got Smithler, so they might be different people. Good. Welcome, Amanda. KP Bass, the spiritual leader, Willow, Shane Carter, life is good. And we're settling in to this next hour. And again, we're not wishing the time away. We're not wishing the time away. Every Monday on the bolts, we've got a, a theme and a, a vibe that I go through um, just to try to anchor us back into something to learn for that day. A lot of sometimes it's psychologically and mindset stuff. A lot of, sometimes it's physiology, sometimes it's Nothing to do with that at all. Without that anchor, I say I tend to get very distracted, don't I, Joey? But that anchor is good because it brings us back to something to think about for the week as well. Um, whether it's a mindset thing, really important. Obviously, we're huge on, but physiology or just learning. So something that I guess is in my wheelhouse that I want to talk about on that Monday morning. I don't go talk about stuff out of my lane as a general rule um, because then I – would just be on here waffling on, wouldn't I, Joey? But very important that I we set the tone on a Monday or whenever you do the bulk session and on the app that um, you anchor yourself to that. So I'll be doing that, but oscillating a bit between different stuff today. 40 seconds just cruising, 70%, 75%. If you're outside in Victoria, starting to get a little bit lighter. With Sundays, Queenslanders know that it's been light for four hours. Just enjoy it. Sydney. Running over the Harbour Bridge, very romantic. Stricko's times two. 20 seconds. Some good selfie action there. Junkyard Dog, Big Ferg, feels good. Trent Castle on fire, bound for Boston. Lou Lunnis, the general manager, bound for Boston. Trent Castle, eight seconds. Utah, Specy on their long run, I think. Julesy, Sonia, Salzy, Steffi B, recover, recover, recover. Awesome, guys. I'll individualise it a little bit. Well done to everyone. Uh, good luck for everyone doing the triathlon series uh, tomorrow. Good luck to everyone about to commence 16 or 14 or 12-week programs for any kind of event. We've obviously got Gold Coast, Great Ocean Road, and lots of stuff coming up in Australia. Okay. But good luck to everyone starting that, and good luck to everyone starting day one of a comeback because we're all going to have comebacks. So this time, make it the comeback that – lasts for the next 50 years and to do that you've got to not go the same familiar paths as you always have not take the same neural pathways not take the same i don't want to use the word easy because it's just our brain's way of tricking us but not take the same paths that we are familiar the familiar ones if you want to do something different or be someone different you've got to take a slightly different path <clears throat> and that just comes from this stuff just being uncomfortable in yourself, but also being kind to yourself. One minute, we'll get into a bit of a block of work, which I'll talk about. We talk about on Mondays, no comparison. Comparison is a thief for joy. Comparing yourself to part self, comparing yourself to someone else will be a surefire way to put a roadblock in your progress. If you just, like Mobsy said brilliantly the other day, stay in your lane as far as worry about yourself and, and obviously get around community, but worry about yourself as far as your movement, put your movement and your mindset first, then everything takes care of itself. But it just takes some practicing. I get it. MZ Tabiri, really good. Awesome work. We've got a six-minute fartlek. Fartlek is speed play. Fartlek is up and down for the guys a bit newer. So 70% one minute, 90% one minute. Um, we always start our fartleks off with the easy, easier segment first because I like to finish on the hard block. Ready? Six minutes. Let's go. So 70% one minute, 32. 70%. Renee Shearer, South Australian, 70%. I'm not going to mention the footy results, Renee. I promise. I promise. I didn't know if Kazi would be on or any South, other South Aussies would be on. Maddie Rendell, Nikki Ren Nico Rendell. But the Cats were just a little bit too, too hard at it last night over there in South Australia. Magnificent to see. Apologies, Renee. 30 seconds. We're going to surge. So this coming up in 30 seconds is your hardest minute of the morning to date. 
So it's the first time you want to touch on a little breathless areas. So if you're if you've never ran six minutes before, then I want you walking one minute at 70 and then running one minute at 90. Okay. And I'll reiterate what people hopefully you guys know that people walk on these app sessions for six months before they actually run. And I love it because they build the base, the foundation. Let's go kick now. One minute, 90%. So we talk about comparison. And right now, I'm going to take you to a bit of physiology. And we're going to say, this now is about buffer and lactate. So you've kicked for the first time. Your heart rate spiked to one, uh, definitely north of 155, 160 beats. So now it's about relaxing into it, dropping elbows a bit. Keep the elbows still at about 110 degrees. But just relax into it and say, no, no, I'm going to hold this rhythm. And I'm strong enough through my middle. And if I'm not, just trick yourself. I'm through my middle and my running muscles. And I'm going to, the way I can get a bit of free speed and efficient speed here is by soft feet, light feet. And I don't even want your feet to hardly even know they're on the ground. That's how quick you're picking your feet up here. 12 seconds. Eight second Julesy Pops. Specy, Terzi, Laurie, Smitler, Louis Lunnis, Kazza Young, the smiling assassin. Leashy King, and back down to 70%. Leashy King, some of the great dirty looks of all time. Usually when I say balls to the wall, Leashy King gives some good greasies. When I say balls to the wall for four minutes, then Leashy will look at me. Stricko's times two out in Sydney. I think one phone, two AirPods, even more romantic. Kelly McGog, Sazy, Berkey, Miko Shark, the media mogul, Danny Long Rangers, shooting guard, small forward, Sonia Law, Salzy, great work, Salzy. 30 seconds will kick. Tazi Bell, she's a star. Ultra Fossil, Ultra Fossil. There he is. I'm looking at people for the first time. CPC, the point guard. Another Dan and Long Rangers point guard. Emma Lugsy. Emma Lugsy, it's been proven, scientifically proven that she's never been angry. 10 seconds. Junkyard Dog, the tinted one. He eats $2 steaks for breakfast. Shelly D, Mobs Nation. Big Ferg, ready? We're coming up to 90%. Let's go, a little surge. 90% Big Ferg. So this is, if you've been running a little bit and you know where you're at and you're feeling good today, this would be about the pace you might run a park run, <clears throat> this this 90% effort. But again, there's lots of variables. How hard did you go Thursday? How stressful was your day yesterday? How much sleep you got last night? What was your rest in and variable heart rate this morning? There's lots of variables. Tashi B, 90%. Great to see Tashi B back running. Great example, even though it probably wasn't inward patience, of outward patience and pivoting. Some swimming, some riding, lots of Pilates and strength and come back to running, feeling good after a three-month layoff. Well, more. Bloody brilliant Tashi. 15 seconds. Lozzy Mac gets fitter every week. PBs for fun. Shazzy Loz, eight seconds. A Zoom user, we love you. A bomb, Steffi B, three, two, back down to 70% with two minutes to run or walk. Kales, welcome back, Kales. Kales out there smashing it. 70%, we're walking or jogging. It's up to you. But if you're jogging, you're really important, which I know. If you're coming here, you might be running the whole thing. So great. <clears throat> How low can we drop the heart rate in the 70%, Amanda? Sean Cambo, 32, named after Buddha Hockey in that Zoom call. Or maybe Tim Watson. Leashy Page, the Somervillian. Kevy Russell, Pooley. How low can we get the heart rate, Fred and Belinda Pool, in this little section? Fred on a bike, Pooley running. Trent Castle, the Boston Bound. Renee Shearer, Country South Oz. Big Cheese, all the gut running women. Spiritual. KP Bass, the Wit Sunday's workhorse. Mickey Wainwright, consistent as the day is long. Eight seconds. Couple of deep breaths now. Four seconds in. Four seconds out because I'm going to tell you to launch for your final minute. Let's go. 95% Shane Carter, Joey, Caroline Watts, good purple top and the chin-up bar in the background. White dogs, MZ. <coughs> Excuse me. Kick now. Let's go. 98%. Fuck it. Fuck it. 98%. Quickest of the day. You got two minutes off. Strickos. They got the AirPod each. That is romantic as they're sharing each other's AirPods. Oh, beautiful. That's beautiful out in Sydney. All the runners in Sydney there. Get up and about, Strick. 
near the end, I need you to really get up and about for me. And all the Sydney siders, look at you. We need to really get the get the bloody New South Welshman up. 20 seconds, keep kicking. I love it. Berkey, Spessy, CP3, Lozzie, Mac, Shawno, Renee Shearer. 10 seconds. Now we absorb it and marinate a bit in the pain. Five. Recover two minutes. Recover two minutes. So suck it in. Recover just means you can walk. You've found the finish line. You can be fucked. Obviously, you might have your hands on your head, walking around your local town or suburb or footy oval or track, whatever, a treadmill, bike, whatever. But recover. It's important. It's important that when you're doing these hour efforts or 40-minute efforts or 30-minute bolts, then you're taking the recovery because the recovery is a big part of the of the structure and the science of it all. I can't have you annihilating yourself and then trying to hold it. It's about trying to move boulders and and how we can make our physiology more malleable and our paces. So we need the recovery. It's really important. Otherwise, you'll just keep doing what you've done and try to flog a dead horse and get nowhere for two – or you might get somewhere – for three weeks, and then you'll go real back and plateau and wonder what the hell you did wrong. Oh, running's not for me, sport's not for me, all that stuff. So just just trust the process for me. Really, really good. One minute off, uh, one minute start, still still to recover. Awesome work. So, yeah, I'm saying about not, comp not comparing and being kind to yourself, but you still got to have that edge about you to fucking get it done. If, whether it's a walk or a ride or a mobility session just to get it done because guarantee – human nature we're wired for comfort we talk about that a lot of mondays and it's really important that you don't listen to that part of your brain that says nah i'll just do it later it's on the app i'll do it later or i'll just stay in bed another five minutes fuck that get out of bed do it the rest of your day is exponentially better but more importantly it compounds spoke to mobsy i kept talking about mobsy we had her on the interview yesterday 500 weeks of compounding. Oh, she's lucky. She's a talented runner. 500 weeks. There's no fucking luck. 500 weeks consistently putting up with me. But not just that. She's consistent. All right, good work. We'll do another block of fartlek. Same again, and then we'll mix it right up for us. We'll go in 20. Six minutes. Willow, Sharky, Specy, Tazzy, Berkey, CP3, Tashi Bees, Leashy Page from Summy. Trent Castle, Renee Shearer from South Wales, we're going in 10. 32, I need to know who you are. And you're named after Buddha Hockey, Tim Watson, Shaq O'Neill at Orlando Magic. Tell me, please. Let's go. Mark Rusciuto, maybe. Fuck, there's been some good 32s. 70%. 70%. I'll just keep reeling, Emsy. I'll just keep reeling 32s. Now I'm distracted of all my other good topics. Tim Watson, Mark Rusciuto. Put him in the chat. Uh, Buddha Hockey is the most important one. Shaq O'Neill. Um, more 32 is whack them on. I like it though. Keep it. Just let me know who you are. Kelly Mark uh, McGongle, another Zoom user. Welcome. Leashy King, the Greasy Queen. 30 seconds will surge 90 to 95%. So, whatever you sat on last time, whatever you sat on and your efforts, and it doesn't matter if you didn't look at your Garmin or Apple Watch or Treadmill, that's fine as well. Whatever you sat on, try to mimic that. So, 90% efforts. Try to mimic that. 10 seconds. Five seconds. Let's go. A little surge. 90%. MZ Tabiri, Shawno, Mick Sharkey, Lisa Willow, the 18 year veteran. He's on. Magnificent to see. Feeling strong, feeling good. So we talk about buffering lactate and being able to put yourself in these situations. And um, Emil Zadapek in the 50s said, I already know how to run slow. I've got to teach myself to run fast. And and this is a part of that now. There's part of that teachings. If you're at a spot where you're pretty capped and you feel like, well, I can only run four minutes or I can't, 30 seconds, I can't break a certain pace. Well, experiment in these sessions. That's what it's all about. Great work, Abel. Experimenting. What's the worst that happens? You've got to walk the next three minutes. Experiment a bit if you're feeling good. I know we're still early on in the session. I get I get that. But you can experiment it. 10 seconds. Big Kevy Russell, feeling strong. Loving a 7 a.m. Saturday. Mickey Wainwright, few faces. We love to see it. Salzy, three, two, 
And back down, back down, back down. 60%. Awesome work, 32. Nico, Willow, Louis Lonis. So talk about no comparison. Talk about not just accepting where we're at right now and accepting that it's going to take a little bit of changing of ways to, to do that. And we spoke about last Monday, showing up for you. Um, 30 seconds, showing up for you, and you're doing that right now, clearly. But in a few other aspects of your life, where we've seen, I think we get carried away with business and kids and everything else in life, other people, that we forget along the way, 15 seconds, that we're no good to them, the people we love the most, if we're not showing up for the us first. And that means fuck all about times and ego stuff it's just about showing up doing this stuff you take care of this the other stuff will work out anyway let's go kick now and you'll find 90 percent please 5k racing you'll find that everything in life is better if you show up for you and i know there's literally thousands of examples within our community but it doesn't have to be an example you can make your own example i'm not going to put to names we've had a lot of them on interviews and that it's not about that it's about you showing up for you. And whatever else that meant, that might mean five, six days a week before anyone gets up, I'm going to get up and do something. And it's only going to be 20 minutes. Or I might want to get my deep work done at 6.30 a.m. before I have to, before four kids wake up, okay? I might want to train at 5.30, get my deep work done at 6.30. I understand that's only probably 10, 15 minutes, but something that's really important, okay? It's really important to you. 15 seconds. All of a sudden, that it just makes the day a lot more penetrable. You can actually work through all the clouds. And back down we come for the final two minutes. No more fart like after this either. I'm, so if you're going, what the hell is this, this prick doing? Six minutes twice times two. Um, ah, oh, Jetta. That's the most important number 32. I actually know your brother. I thought it was part of it. I thought it was um a first timer. It's Jeddah. Oh, I'll leave that on. Jed Sutton. I was thinking Buddha, Timmy Watson. Jed is uh, Jed Sutton. He's better than all of them. The Somerville midfielder, half forward flanker. 30 seconds. We're going to kick hard. So after this one, we get a three minute break. So do not waste this chance to improve. Do not waste this chance to get a little bit quicker. Leishy King, Kelly McGongle, Sazie, Mrs. Foz, Emma Lugsy, Big Ferg. 12 seconds, you're going to surge. Mickey Wainwright, I want you to get all kinds of excited here, Mickey. Ready? Eight seconds, please. Smitler. Maddie Buzz, I think, or Maddie Law. Kick. Now, let's go. Hardest of the day. I'll give you a three-minute rest. I'll give you a three-and-a-half-minute break just to walk and consolidate. But you've got to earn it and don't waste it. Let's go. 45 seconds. Life is good. We're breathing. You're showing up for you. You're going to show up for you again and again and again, day in, day out, and then good stuff just happens. Trent Castle, Boston bound, 30 seconds. A little bit cheeky on his program, Trenner. Takes an inch, runs a mile. Got to, I've got to watch him just so we get into Boston without breaking himself. 20 seconds. Leashy Page, the summer villain. Vozzy Mac, Ultra Foz, Sonia Law. Specimen of Nature, Kazi, Tazi Bell, Shazzy, Satsi, Renee, Dogs of the White. Eight seconds, fucking hold. Recover, suck it in. That's a nice little block. Great work. Well, you're awake on a Saturday anyway. Well done. Feeling really good. It's a good time slot, 7 a.m. Almost feel like a pro athlete. You don't have to train at 4.30 or 5 a.m. or p.m. Well done, guys. 6, 5.30 or 6 a.m. It's a bit more sociable, a bit more tolerable, the old seven. Imagine imagine being an Olympian, Joe. 7 a.m. and 4 p.m. Bang, bang. Uh, well done, guys. Great, great little block of work. Um, even if one thing drops for you today out of the eight topics, I'll probably just roll through. Just remember it. Really, really good. We're going to talk a bit about 80-20 running in a minute. And I'll do it in the time that we're doing these paces. So 80-20 running, it's it's really important that you learn it. If you're only running 
20K a week, it doesn't matter as much. But if you start to run 40 or 50K a week, so you start to train for, for events and that, it's really important that you do your easy days easy. So basically it means most of your training, not just running, done at 80% of your training done at a under the ventilatory threshold, which just means you can talk pretty much, okay? And then 20% like this or like that last minute of the, of the fart, like the 20% is above that line, okay? Where So it, I'm, what I'm trying to do is, is really encourage and ensure that you stay out of what we call the gray zone for too much. It's, it's okay to be in the gray zone for periods and we train in it sometimes and it's really important, but it's more just as an accumulation of weeks on end if you look back and people do it, and we've all done it in the past, they, and this is why I don't, I mean, sure that you don't look at your garment on your easy runs and you, you're, you're more going off heart rate and feel because it's really important that if you're regenerating from one of those sessions, it's in the 20%, the hard session, so 20% really hard, 80% really easy, but doing it, jogging, riding, mobility, strength, whatever, that's your week, that's the construct. Um, it's really important that you remember that because it's actually going to sabotage you if you don't. So if you do a really hard session, feel really strong, and you're able to move some boulders and really move the needle on your on your pace or whatever, and then the next day when you're absolutely in a hole because you're still regenerating, and even if you feel good, you go again or do something hard, really hard, which um, challenges the nervous system too much or physiology too much, you're not going to get the most out of the session you did 24 hours ago. And people do it all the time. And I think I've mentioned a few times, but early days of Strava, that's what was happening. Everyone was going, oh, every run, oh, someone's going to see my run. Who gives a fuck? You just go out and jog. It's just jogging. Strava is just about keeping people, I guess, connected and also a bit of a training law. It doesn't matter if you're running nine-minute Ks to regenerate. All that matters, especially if, you, if you're very serious about your sport, is your race day. Who gives a fuck about anything else? All right, as long as that comes off good. Really good. Life's good. I'm happy. Kazi from South Australia. She's joined us. She's a bit niggly, I think, but she's a bloody megastar. We love Kazi Rendell. Kaz, I've already spoke about the Cats game. I'm up and about. I think you've got a young son that'll be up and about, but I can't remember in your house who's Adelaide Crows or not, but I'll get, I'll, I'll get over it. I know there's people overseas that don't want to hear this shit. All right, now listen, life is good. We're going to think about 80-20. We're going to go in under a minute. I've got 60 seconds at 80%, 30 seconds off. Six, um, sorry, 60 seconds at 60%. So I just really want you to, this compounds in your brain. So 60%, I'm going to talk a lot about this is what I mean. And then you've got a 30 second rest into a two minute, almost a time trial, balls to the wall. Then I'll give you a long rest. Okay, so one minute at 60%, we'll go in 30. There's a reason why I'm doing it because I want you to remember it. You do this, it's a good little, it's a good little, um, separator as well for lack of a better adjective between what we've just done and what we're about to do so one minute at 60 percent we'll go in 15 beautiful morning out in melbourne australia i'm sure it's beautiful everywhere 10 seconds beautiful in sydney by the look of that miss uh dan stricko sydney looking beautiful five seconds one minute at 60 percent tazi bell we love her we love tazi bell let's go one minute easy so jogging so when we're jogging let's just say we're having uh, let's just say in your program, we've got, you've done your runner's A session Tuesday, Wednesday, maybe some strength and optional easy jog, depends where you are or who you are or what you want to do. Let's just say I've got easy jog in there or you want to do an easy jog. Easy jog is south of 140 part rate at the very most, south of 130 if possible, soft feet, light feet, 30 seconds. So south of 130 heart rate. I know there's variables. So I'm loath to lock that in. But really working on cadence, really working on cadence. So work on, can you get 190 steps per minute when you're jogging as slow as you possibly can jog? That is the magic. 10 seconds. That is the magic. Stricko. Oh, how yeah, beautiful. And recover one minute. Love and seeing a bit of the sights of Sydney. In one of the breaks, KP, give me a bit of a Whit Sundays look in the morning. Give me my Whit Sundays fix. Not yet, though, because you've got to do two minutes balls to the wall, KP. Maybe in the next long break, give me a bit of a Whit Sundays fix for me. Always love to see some Whit Sundays action, especially in Melbourne's winter. I love the, I love the live sessions in Melbourne's winter when KP just gets on after it. Bit of, 
bit of Hamilton Horn in the background, a bit, bit of a uh, what's that? What's that? I've gone blank, KP. I wasn't ready for this beautiful uh, beach that I'm thinking of. You know, White Haven and all that kind of stuff. Twenty seconds empty. Tiberi feels good. That treadmill and that shed, Emma. How fucking good, mate! I just it warms the heart. You've just, you've just it's made made it work, and I'm so happy. Ten seconds, two minutes for the hardest thing we've done today. This is two minutes at ninety and ninety five percent. Like it's the last kilometer of a five k. Let's kick now. Let's go. Leashy Page, she's a fucking star. Salzy Lou Lunis, the general manager, she knows things. Two minutes off ninety five percent. Now, even those guys on the longer runs or the continuous runs, they're listening to me on a Saturday, why not mix it up a bit? Surge now for a two minutes. There's a fair few here, I know. Kazi Rendell, she's a star. Mickey Wainwright, Shane Carter, KP Bass, the Mobs Nation. So we're talking about this. So now that 60% for one minute was your regeneration day. And now I've made these into a two-minute block. But this is a session. Mental in your head. So, okay, this is the pace. I need to hold on my balls to the wall days, which is one to maybe one and a half, two days a week. That's it. When I say halfway, if you're feeling good, junkyard dog, just maneuver the, the speed a little bit. Don't even have to look at your garment or anything. Just, just say, okay, I'll put a bit of force through the ground and I'll kick. Let's go now. Kick now, one minute. Remember the wristband when you're feeling like this. What a day to be alive. Remember that wristband. Because back to what we said, humans are wired and absolutely ancestrally produced for comfort. Let's make sure that we push back against that and say, no, fuck you. I like a bit of discomfort. In fact, I thrive on it. Thrive, TH. 30 seconds. Marinate and meditate in the pain. Make pain just part of you. Make it part of you. It's a beautiful thing. 15 seconds, Tashi B. Lactate, hydronines raising through the bloodstream. Left ventricle about to fucking explode, Cheezel. Adapt or fucking die. Three, two, one, recover. Suck it in. All right, great work. I said two minutes off, but we only have one minute off because then we've got a one minute 60. We're going to do it one more time. I just want to really... Put it in the brain. Okay, this is my real easy jog pace. And practice it in this session so it sticks. What's my easy jog pace? And because you're in a session, it's going to go a lot faster because your nervous system's all excited and primed. So slow yourself, really consciously slow yourself down. So let's just use, I'll just use the fives. If your easy jog pace is 5.30 um, or 5.40, and then in a, in a session where I'm saying 60%, it's going to be five flat or even quicker because your nervous system's so excited and it's going to feel really easy. But consciously today, because we're talking 80, 20 for this period, I need you to pull yourself back consciously, up the cadence, drop the heart rate, drop the speed. It's just, it's a teaching lesson, I promise. Three, two, let's go. 60%, one minute. Clearly, if you're not, if you ever haven't ran much the last six months, 12 months ever, then clearly 60% is a walk anyway. Okay, walking is magnificent. Oh, we love to see it. Kazi Rendell, Smitler, Willow, Mick Sharky, the media mogul. He's got a very good commercial coming out, Mick Shark. He's a star. It's a very, very, very good ad. Spess, Tazzy, Matty Law, Smitler, Louis Lunis, Youngie, the smiling assassin. 30 seconds. It's our good's moving. This could be the best Saturday of your life after this, I reckon. Kale's spiritual. Watsy, she's on fire. Dogs. Stricko is on fire. 20 seconds, just cruising. You get a one-minute break after this. Big Kev feels good. Yeah, 80-20. We'll move on this subject in a minute, I promise. I just want to make a point. Five seconds. And recover. One minute. Right out. We've got last two-minute time trial. Now, this is bordering on the most important aerobic power stuff, um, but we... Our most important aerobic power stuff for adaptation is from three to eight minutes, okay? That's our real bang for our buck for moving the needle on VO2 power. So I understand 
that this is starting to touch on that and it's fucking hard work. Two minutes at 95%, really hard work. 30 seconds. How uncomfortable can we get? Challenge yourself. So you might want to say in this block, you got a two-minute rest after this, I promise. You might want to say in this block that, okay, I want to challenge myself and get to this. And if I can get to this, then it's about listening to what Rick's saying and just meditate and marinate in it. A-bomb. A-bomb. Five seconds. You're a star. I don't, know, I don't even know where you are, Abel. Let's go. Kick now. Two minutes at balls to the wall. 95%. Sean, he's got F1 on the avatar. Pretend like you just forced the force through the ground like a bloody um, Ferrari, big Sean. And then you need to hold it like a Tesla. One of our speed endurance sessions. Oh, Humphreys Road. <laughs> Sorry, Abel. I should have known that. I, I, I was doing uh, hills in Humphreys Road. <clears throat> I'm getting there through a long run. That is gold. I thought you were like some exotic location, which is beautiful up in Mount Eliza, but we're, we go to the hills once a month for all the guys out of Victoria. We go to the hills once a month minimum, and she's there now, which is gold. One of these lives in COVID that we did, one of the one-hour lives on a Saturday or Sunday maybe, I don't know, must have been a Saturday, now, Saturday Ayla and the junkyard dog, Tuned in. I didn't even know this because in COVID and they were, they were just picking races at will. One minute, fucking hold it. The A bomb and um, junkyard jumped on a live and finished on air the Gold Coast Half Marathon. So it was like just coming out of COVID ish, 21 ish, I think. Yeah, really, really cool. Jumping on. I had no idea. And then they just jumped on and go, yeah, we're just about to finish. Hey, that's my news. Lots of runners crew going to Gold Coast. If you're in Australia, and you, I know it's probably all booked out, but if you, that, it's 15 and a half weeks to go if you can. 30 seconds, keep launching now. Debbie Burke. Debbie Burke. Runners, paraphernalia everywhere. We love to see it, Debsy. Hold this rhythm, please. 25 seconds. Willow, Smitler, Matty Law, Mick Meader, Modal Sharky, the general manager. Tazi Bell. Tazi Bell always smiling. 15 seconds. Hold this pace. Shazzy, Lozzy. Leashy Page, big Trent Castle, the Iron Man, soon to be Boston bound. Bullies, do not fucking slow down. Three, two, one, recover two minutes. Life is good. Suck it in. <coughs> All right. It's really important that we're, we're doing this and we're moving the needle a little bit and we're showing up for us. It's really, 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 really important. You put the oxygen mask on you first and then everyone else is better for it. Just imagine the to-do list today, how much harder it would be if you're not doing this first. So crucial. Really good. AKP, hey, give us a look. Give us a look where you're at, Legend, if you're running. You might be inside, so sorry if you are. Oh, good morning. How good. It's always good to see, isn't it? Unmute yourself. Tell us how it's going up there. Gosh, not the best on this. Right, here we go. Um, the sun is coming, right? We're on the boardwalk. I, I can see it. I, I yeah. think that is beautiful. What, what's the weather up there at the moment, KP? Yeah, she's a bit drizzly. It's nice and uh, humid, but uh, I'll, I'll wait. I'll get a little bit further, take a photo of the sun coming up. All right, you're a bloody star. Any Thank you, today? everybody. Any stakes today? Oh, I did see a de dead one yesterday when I ran past, but uh, deads are always good because they can't get me. They can't get you, buddy, legend. Mm -hmm. I like KP. Talk about time. Thank you. Keep running, everybody. Yeah, good girl, KP. The amount of running she does up there in the immunity is, is amazing. 30 seconds. Mick Sharky saying the ribs she had last night. Man, we were out for dinner with the Sharkies. He had some ribs and a couple of beers. Now, these, these ribs were massive. Not the ideal prep. But you got to really... Plan your morning, your pre-run really well, if that's the case, because you're going to be caught out, big fella, out there somewhere in Bayside, Melbourne, caught out, and there's no other option. He's uh, He was telling me last night he's he's going to have to get up really early to prepare for this, and he didn't. Now, listen, 30 seconds of balls to the wall. Sorry, in 30 seconds, we've got 30 on, 30 off for five. This is a preparatory one as well. This is to excite the nervous system. You should feel strong because it's only 30 seconds. So we're going to go in 10. 
30 seconds at 95 to 100 percent 30 seconds off okay three two let's go so five reps 30 on 30 off 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 five times feeling strong i i am looking at you legends i am looking at the camera and sharks trying to distract me with all these currently pre um pre race meals that he has normally eight seconds He's been caught out a few times having a dump in the bushes, old shark. And recover. Yeah, it's funny when you you got to think ahead sometimes. How am I going to feel? What's going? I make all the young athletes that I work with. I make them write down what makes me feel good. How do I feel? How do I want to feel good on Saturday or game day or training day? Ribs and beers, not conducive to this as a rule, but it's up to you. But in the moment, it's so good. That quick three, two, kick. Now, round two. Look at magnificent Strico through Sydney. I'm loving this. I'm loving it. Because normally it's so dark and everyone can't show me shit. This is beautiful. Saying, so, oh, there oh, we are. We've got Sydney, with Sunday, South Australia, Gold Coast. Absolutely beautiful. Now, nah, butter chicken, no good either, spiritual. 12 seconds, butter chicken, no good. I had the um, what do I have? I had a Scotch fillet and then a couple of beers. That normally is okay. I was pretty, pretty, pretty well behaved. Three and recover, suck it in. Three to go. So feel fast here, legends. This should make you feel pretty quick. So coming off that harder stuff we did, the long fart leg, the two minutes of lactic stuff. This will feel strong. You should feel pretty strong. If you don't, that's okay. Just remind yourself mentally it's only thirty seconds, and then it's like fuck yeah. Because we've got a uh, we've got a big time trial coming up, coming off, coming up. Sorry, fuck off. Stop talking about food in the chat. I'm trying to concentrate and kick now. Thirty seconds of balls to the wall. Devil, I've got my phone going off. Put that over there. I've got chat going off, and this is why we had a whole Monday, I think, or maybe I I, I was planning on doing it on single tasking. Fifteen seconds. This is when I am single tasking at the very best. I can't multitask ever. Eight seconds. Mobs Nation, Spiritual, KP Bass, Cheezel, Stricko. Three, two, recover. I'm going to tell you in two more reps, we're going to rest, and then we're going to have a one-mile time trial, 1,600-metre time trial for the runners and thirty and 3.5K for the bots. So that's just about one person getting there, then we all rest, right? So this is priming you for that, but I'm going to give you two, um, two and a half minutes off in between. 10 seconds, round four. Pre-fatiguing you, yes, but also priming you. Because when you go to the mile, it's going to be slower pace and you'll feel comfortable for a bit. Let's go kick now. Round four. Stop with the ribs. Stop with everything talking. Enough of this. How do I mute the chat, Joe? How do I mute this shit? Willow, Leashy King, the Greasy Queen, Kazza Young, CP. Oh, now people want to get on the fucking talk, but you want to, you want to take over the whole session and just talk about your food. 10 seconds. Keep your eye out for Sharky if you're local. He's looking for a bush. And post haste. Recover. I know people love track club for that reason because they can get there early, do warm up. We've got a few dunnies there. It's great. Final set. Then we've got a two and a half minute rest. Then we'll rock. Well, in all seriousness, welcome to anyone that's a bit newer. Um, I've gone off on a few tangents, but welcome. 10 seconds. Tazzy Bell. We don't always talk about feces. Not all the time, anyway. Five seconds. Balls to the wall, MZ. A-bomb. Mickey Wainwright. Only every second. Let's go. Kick now. Every second week. Balls to the wall. 98% to 102%. Leashy Page. Kick now. You get two and a half minutes off. Junkyard Dog. Kick now. Kales, welcome back. Build the foundation. Walk jog for as long as humanly possible. The more you walk jog, the better the foundation, the better you get. 10 seconds. Five seconds. Recover, suck it in. In two and a half minutes, we're doing one time trial, one time trial only. I under... Oh. Whoever wrote corned beef, you're disgusting. Um, you're... um. What was I going to say? Fuck, what was I going to No, this is the longest 
time trial we do. We don't even do a time trial less than any of the official sessions uh, that are that are recorded properly in the studio. Well, the bulk sessions, we we don't do this either, but we've got an hour semi-on as well. One mile, which is 1,600. Now, the guys that are running this properly, just run it hard. One person will unmute themselves and say, I'm done. If you're on a bike, we're going to say 3.5. Okay, we're not going to double it. We're going to double it and add a bit. 3.5K for the bikes. If you're on a rower, traditionally it's the same as the running, 1.6 kilometres. So what it is, is one person will get there. You, in your own on your own AirPods, can walk, jog, do whatever. You just try to humanly possible for you to cover as much ground in that time as it takes for one of these 50 legends to say, Rick, I'm done. Make sense? I love it. 1.6K. I'll give you some prompts and the rest will flow. Oh, now there's a lot, there's a lot happen. There's a lot happening. You guys are really um confusing me with these chats and texts. Well, enough of this shit, please. Now, 1.6K, go to sleep. Go to sleep and meditate. We're going to go in one minute. So just breathe, walking through. So you got one minute until the easily the longest and probably hardest combined. <laughs> Cheese just asked Shark if he's sacrificing the singlet or the socks. Better not be the singlet because it's a, probably a runner singlet. You can never sacrifice the singlet. Trent Castle had to rip off a sleeve one day um, and he had to, he ripped off the other sleeve, off not the runner's sleeve. He had runners on one sleeve. Um, now, listen, what are we doing? 1,600 metres, balls to the wall. Otherwise, walk, jog, walk, jog. So pretty much, if you're brand new, how can I cover as much ground as humanly possible? 20 seconds. If you're back on the comeback, you must finish every session feeling like you could do more. The bigger the foundation, the better. 10 seconds. Five seconds. Ready? Let's kick. Now, one mile, 1,600, possibly my favourite distance, right up there. Must be fucking on the borderline of vomit the whole way if you're doing your A session. Otherwise, just get it done. I don't care. But listen, back to my analogy of the foundation, it's really, it's funny because one of our favourite sessions on runners, speed endurance, is called the foundation, but it's not. That's just, I actually don't know why. I don't know why that is, but I'm going to have to look it back. But anyway, the foundation you're building on, this doesn't just go for beginners. This goes for people on the comeback. This goes for people that might have done other stuff for a while, might have had three kids, whatever. I don't care. Now, if you're on the comeback, you've got to be conservative. You've got to just get the work done. It's not sexy, but it is the only way. So the, the more conservative you are in sessions, and the smarter you are, the bigger the foundation. And the bigger we can build a big footing, we can build the fucking Rialto. Is that still big? I don't even know. We can build a massive building, okay? Whereas if you try to be a quick fix and get fit in four weeks, six weeks, eight weeks, and you haven't really done much, especially running for six, ten years ever, even if you've been out for 12 months, then you're building what you're trying to build on a fucking pile of sticks, so it's really important, and that is what you call brilliant ad lib, Joey Cam. That's what you call, and I, I like that analogy, and it won't be the last time I use it. I can tell you that now, but you were the first to hear it. I've probably said many, many, many iterations of that for 20 years, but that is the first time I've used that, and it won't be the last time. Now, listen, if you're building a pile of sticks, then you're going to go, I'll tell you what, you'll be up and about for five weeks, and then I won't hear from you for six months, and then you won't run again for four years. So... Don't build it on a pile of sticks. Fuck that shit. Right up. One mile. Go to sleep. Neck, shoulders soft. Elbows down. Accepting that you're breathless, accepting that it's normal, and accepting that no, yes, running is for you. It, oh, fucking running's not for me. This is too fucked. This is hard. Bullshit. Drop the rib cage. Settle into it. Ah. Uh, Smitty over there fucking weighs 40 kilos less. He's doing it easy. Fuck that. Who cares? Find the mile. Run the mile you're in right now. Present moment only. Run the mile you're in. Hold it. Feeling good. What's he? She's going to do 20 chin-ups after this for me. It's true, okay. Okay. Do you actually ever do them? <laughs> I've been telling you that for four years of these lives. 
Yeah, look at the pipes. He says, what's he's got a bar behind her that I, I tell her, and every live session almost without fail, she's going to do, it's a running joke, but she's going to do chin-ups every um every time, and she never does. And on, on good news for runner's family all over the world, me and Mick Sharkey are going to do a monthly catch-up uh, podcast all about you guys. Now, that is good fun. So we're going to do an end of month every month, um, catch-up podcast, YouTube, all about you. It's just recapping the month in the runner's world, which I think is bloody brilliant. And I think it'll be easier to keep Mick on online. Between me and him, we're a bit all over the shop. But um, when we did stuff about people we didn't know, it was really very hard to keep him online. We only got kicked off Apple and Spotify many a time. But talking about you, Legends, we'll have no issue that I wouldn't imagine. So lots to recap in March, of course. So um, look forward to that, me and Mick. I've got no doubt Channel 7 will take it up in time. Just just give us a bit of time and Channel 7 will take that one up. Kazi Rendell, Louis Lannis, Tara Bell, Lozzie Mack. Fucked if I know how long we've been going, but I think we're over halfway. Drop in, shoulders, soft. Actually, we're over halfway. Well over halfway. I'm only joking, guys. I know. We've been going for nearly four minutes now. So over four now. So elbows are soft, biceps are soft, neck soft. If you find yourself tensing, it's normal, but drop them down, please. Drop the shoulders. Soften the fingers. Pretend like you're holding a couple of bits of blades of grass between your index finger and your thumb. Soften them, though. Soften them. No tension. If you can, if you're able, get in three or four second breath through your nose. Jesus Christ, you're in good shape if you're doing that, but try to do it. Okay, really work on this. Remember, the session's all about you, always about you. Your session, not mine. I haven't said that much for 10 years. I used to say it a lot. Now Strigo just says it for me. Your session, not mine. It's very, very true. But it is never truer. Debbie Burke, Emma Luggs, and Mobs Nation. It's never truer than in a one-mile time trial as a group. Never fucking truer. 32, Jed Sutton. That gave me some content for a while. Renee Shearer, Maddie Buzz, Maddie Law, Kazi Rendell, The Mile. It's a, a, at the Olympics coming up in Paris. It's going to be... <laughs> Yeah, that, no, nah, that's good. I love that, Kazi. I'll talk in the recovery. I'll, I'll, I'll run with that. Listen, it's really important that you relax this next minute, but find a little bit of fucking mongrel about you. The mile or the 1500 metric is the one of the great races to watch at any Olympics, Com Games, World Champs. You're in it right now. So put yourself in that fucking, in that product right now. Put yourself in that situation. Whether you're just building your house of concrete or wherever you're at the fucking top of the Eiffel Tower, put yourself in that box. Ro recover, suck it in. Great work, Cheesy. Running the white, run a singlet. Love to see it. Suck it in. That hurts. Absolutely, you should look like that, brother. Good boy. Suck it in, suck it in, suck it in. Ah, oh, well done, Legends. Everyone goes through different phases, and the individual that just got that there, the Cheesy, he's in very, very good shape at the moment. He's had some oscillation over the last three or four years, though, but he's in extremely good shape, and that's really good. So don't. It's not linear. Progress is not linear. Ever, for anyone. Olympians, pro sport athletes, doesn't matter. Awesome. Great to see it. How good's a mile? Possibly the most painful there is, um, distance there is. You put it mile and 800, maybe. Mile and 800. Kazi Rendell just is saying, um, what's she saying? Is it weird that I'm eating a protein ball, having a coffee, pretending I'm exercised? I just had FOMO, so I jumped on. You're a fucking star. Just do some like, um, do some thoracic openers, and you're doing something very good for you. Do a few thoracic openers, have a coffee. Listen to this is more beneficial than listening to Carl Stefanovic. Sure, this gets you more. So you can just listen and maybe read the paper, do some mobility stuff, Carzy. Great stuff. That's a really good effort, guys, that mile. So I don't care what you got. But just know that you got as much as you could in that allotted time. Um, and the reason we like to do that on the live is it mixes it up a bit psychologically as well for you. It's a bit of fun. But also, it's it's your body doesn't know kilometres or miles. It just knows time under tension. So whatever, like, um, we ended up getting that mile in, you guys were still under the same amount of tension as each other, which is, which is the way we're going to get better. Really, really good. Bit of speed endurance to finish. Really impressive. Yeah, no, that's good. I, yeah, me and Carl. Me and Carl get along well. Morning television, Matty Buzz. What do you reckon? Oh, magnificent work. Fuck, I love the mile. I can't tell you how passionate I am about that. Tara Bell, you're a star. 
40 seconds, we do some speed endurance. Cara Rendell in South Wales. I don't reckon you're alone, by the way, on Saturdays, Mondays, Fridays. Oh, people do it. It's good. Do your mobility stretching. Do your stretching. Get some stuff done while you're on vibes, especially vibes. Nice little podcast segment. 20 seconds. I do recommend doing the Monday bolt at 70%. Ish, if you if you've had a long run Sunday, I think it's really important to get Monday bolt done just to get it done. Ten seconds sets the week up. We've got forty five on, forty five off for four. This is hard work. Forty five on at ninety to ninety five percent, and kick now. Let's go. Forty five on at ninety to ninety five percent. Only time I'm going to say it, I promise. But I think Patrick Dangerfield is Benjamin Button. I think he is, and I think he's going to get. He's ninth all Australian, and I think that might almost be a record. Okay, I've got it out of my, I've got it out of my system. I think it might be a record. Forty-five seconds at ninety-five percent. So this again should feel semi-okay, semi, because fifteen seconds to run. Because it's it's going to take way more than a two and a half minute break to get rid of the waste products that you built up in that um, mile rep. But it's important that we do this. Recover, three to go. So it's really important that we do this, Legends. So this now is training the brain and the body to hold a pace after that little recovery, to still hold a pace even though it just wants to cool down because we've done a shitload, but we're not letting it cool down yet. You get 45 off though, guys, so take it and run hard. Oh, not weird at all, Kazi. Not as weird as Shark Evan. I'm oh, not really weird. Everyone has a dump in the bush, I guess. Best Saturday of my life, Sonia. Geez, you're good. You're the best, Rick. Oh, thank you. Uh, off you go. You got a bit of yoga. Good good mix about live and then straight into yoga. I love it. Ready? Kick. Right. Now, let's go. Yeah, perfect mix. Off we go. 45 balls to the wall. Round two. Off we go. Balls to the wall. Feeling strong. Feeling feeling. Mechanically strong. So right now, because you know you're not going to run long anymore, I want you to feel mechanically pretty good. Um, I love to do these at the end for heaps of reasons, but it's about what I said at the very start about Emil Zatopek. I already know how to run slow. Um, it's about trying to feel fast, feel fast mechanically, uh, 15 seconds, and from an economy point of view as well. So what's it feel like to move fast? How do, where, do, where do I hold my arms? What's my foot plant like? How much force can I produce? Recover. Two to go. Awesome work. Geez, danger feels looking lean, isn't it? Oh, okay, enough. Kazi, Debbie Burke, Kazi Young, the smiling assassin. Kazi Young would have smiled. She knows neuroscience. Don't worry about that without knowing it. She would have smiled every second of that one mile. And I fucking love it. Sean O! Talk it. Ah, oh, Cassie Young. See, she would have smiled every second of that one more. She's got the triathlon tomorrow. She's going to be smiling. Oh, Sean's at Park Run. I knew there'd be someone there. Well done, Sean. Park Run's about to start. Ready? We're going to kick in five, guys. Kick right now. 45 balls to the wall. Round three. Oh, yeah. Mick just wanted to let everyone know he does. He's not shitting in public. He does have a massive stitch, though. He just wanted people to be aware of that. I don't think anyone cares. We're all out here exercising. Having a dump is the least. We understand. Look how good Sean is. Park run. I'll just give you the visual because you guys are all listening. Sean's about to start park run with 250 of his best mates. Now, listen, love to see. Sean's daughter on the weekend took eight minutes off her 5K time, which is brilliant. 15 seconds. Keep kicking. This is round three. Oh, MZ Tiberi. Is that system overload? I like it. Running too fast. Three, two, kick. I mean, recover now. Suck it in. Final one of these. 45 balls to the wall. Yes, cheese. I'm getting distracted. Yes. I'm starting to still have some time. I understand. Right. Last 45 balls to the wall. I got that chat going on. I got topics in my head that I still haven't covered that I'm upset about, but I don't care because I probably wasted too much time on feces and danger field. But anyway, we're here. 20 seconds. Quickest of the day, make sure. Quickest of the day, make sure. 
It's not your last set, but it's your quickest of the day so far. Ready? 10 seconds. 45 balls to the wall. 102%. I love that you're on, Kazi. I love that you're on. Let's go. Kick. Now, off we go. Balls to the wall. Balls to the wall. Let's make sure of it. Has to be the quickest of the day. 30 seconds to run. General manager, CP3, Jed Sutz. I love the summer looking trifecta of Cheesy, Leashy, and Jed Sutz. Renee from South Australia. Matty Buzz. 15 seconds. Matty Buzz. Talk about building a concrete foundation and reaping the rewards. Matty Buzz. Eight seconds. Willow, the 18 year veteran, literally has to not be sick of my voice yet. And recover, suck it in. Love seeing the let's suck it in. We've got 90 seconds off. We're nearly done. Imagine this 805, and you'll be fucking running through brick walls. Berkey on a bike. Love it. Love Thanks, Ricky. Well Where done. You? Thank you. Are you in Frankston? Uh, when, I, when at Beach Road, but I've got to go to swimming now. All right. Go, have, go, go to swimming. Thanks. Love seeing the AirPods in Thanks. on a bike on fucking Beach Road. Magnificent Smitler. Couple of 30 second efforts, and we're done. This is awesome. 30 seconds balls to the wall. We'll go in under a minute. Feeling strong. Good work. Shano. You got to go, bro. Love sweating it up. How good sweating on a Saturday? Breakfast before breakfast. We'll go in 30. 803. I've got you offline. I'll have you offline by 805. You're doing very well. Suck it in. 30 on, balls to the wall. 30 off, then 30 on, quickest of the day. Get really uncomfortable here, MZ. Real uncomfortable. 10 seconds. I think it's a good thing. Thanks for joining us, Kazi. Soft feet, light feet, but a bit of force the first five steps. Three, two, maximal now. Let's go. Maximal now. Bit of force. Force through the ground. So you get to top velocity, and then it's about rhythm. So it's much easier to generate force those first five steps. Bang. And then you get to rhythm. Let's go. 15. Hold this. 10. Hold this now. Five seconds. Recover. Suck it in. I love it. Last little segment of the morning, Tazi Bell. Let's finish it off. Uh, pleasure, guys. All the guys that have to jump off, no drama. Let's make sure we finish this off if you're still on the session. 30 seconds, balls to the wall. Roll up all your aggression. Roll. This is when motivation is a good thing now. We talk about that often, that we never can rely on motivation. As soon as you start to do that, you're fucked. But now, get a little bit aggressive and motivated. Let's go. Final set of the morning. Finish it off. 105 to 108%. Matty Buzz, whoever's left. Buzz, Smith, Cheese, Dogs. Joe, Sean, Kazza, Stricko, KP, Abon, Pooley. Now is the time. Leashy Page, Kev, Mickey Wainwright, 15 seconds. Spiritual, Renee, Trenner, Jetta, Mobsy, Ferg. I'm not going to get through everyone. Lozzy, Shazzy, Junkyard. Now's the time. Eight seconds. Have fun at Park Run, Renee. Three. Recover. We love to see it. Not relying on motivation there, especially the last block, because you just got to really, you can use those different, like, variable motivations that you might pick up along the way and what, what motivates you currently. But it's, um if you, I think I'm preaching on the converted, I know I am, but if you start to rely on that, because you'll be all excited and it'll be sexy for a week or two, that um, it won't work long term. Um, really, really important. Um, great work. Just go around the room if anyone's still here. Still forty odd on. Yeah, what's happening? Ah, CP three. You're in. You're in local town. Good girl, buddy. Great work. Saturday morning tick. Any kids with you today? Couldn't get them out of bed. Ah, uh, no. Um, no. Share the AirPod. Share the get the start getting the kids on a Monday. One of them get the AirPod out. Big say good day to Big Trev. Where is anyone not in local? Oh, A-bombs at the famous Humphreys Road coffee shop. They get a bit angry at us because we're starting to be too big in numbers. 
We park our cars there. That's okay. Strigo's in Sydney. Love to see it. A-bomb. That's awesome. Anyone else? I know it's fucking hard to beat the Wit Sundays. Um, I don't think we've got any overseas crew on. It's What is it? Friday night for most of them. Mickey Wainwright, great to see you, brother. Great to see you. Mrs. Thanks, Ross, out okay. in local town. Where are you, Mickey? Uh, just coming back past uh, the Chelsea Primary School. Did you do run for the kids, mate? Yeah, mate. Did the long how'd course. You how'd you go? Yeah, it's fantastic. Loved it. I love it. I'm, I'm going to do a write-up in this year, in this week's newsletter. If you did run for the kids and I didn't know, or even if I did, still text me because if you didn't know, I was on a, a four-day thing last week and I came back for CFA and then I went straight back to the city. But So I'm not really across run for the kids at all. So well done to everyone that did it and anyone else that did anything else, let me know. Awesome, Miko. Any other funny stories for me before I leave? Tara Bell, how'd you go, Tazi? Nah. Kelly, how are you, Kelsey? Going well? Any other funny stories? Yeah. I got a story for you, Ricky. So yeah, mate. My AirPods ran out um, two minutes in, so the backtrack um, just listened to you, Hour of Power, through my iPhone. <laughs> There's, how annoying is that, the AirPods, by the way, but that's hilarious. Well, a lot of people would have liked that. And probably some not. That's okay. You would have ran past people's houses. I've got probably got some haters out there. You would have yeah. ran, you would have run past some people's backyards. And there's me voice. Well done, Mrs. Foz. That's uh, awesome. I, that yeah. is, I love. I love that. Saw Tashi B out there. Tashi B. A few others. That was nice. I love it. I love it when you see each other. Well, you've seen Tashi B, and your husband's seen Mick Sharky. Don't shake oh, his dear. hand, Foz. Don't shake his hand. No, no lack of respect. I don't know this person who's got the big fluffy beard and oh, no, big Ferg. Oh, uh, okay. I waved and said hi, but I, don't, I think he's yeah, actually. No, I haven't got to run. I haven't got to run his stuff on today, so he, I think he yeah. was like, "Who the fuck are you?" Yeah, and you, <laughs> he sees you in the dark or on bolt. So yeah, <laughs> or on Tuesdays. Oh, Foz, don't shake his hand, Foz. Don't shake his hand. <laughs> just, just pat him on the back and say g'day. <laughs> oh, Sharky, Sharky just touched him on the head. Oh, it's very funny. Hey, well done, guys. We love to see Thanks it. Thanks so um, much, Rick. Pleasure, pleasure, pleasure. Oh, good on you, Tazi. We'll do a bit more of this. I do like the connection. It's great. Um, good work, Kazi Rendell. How good's Kazi getting on? Kazi's just getting six things done around the house. Junkyard dog. Yes, mate. I'm uh, just finishing off uh, a 20 coming up. I asked if I've Oh. But um, I'd like to concur with... Uh, with you guys on the car, I had a car last night. I think Ed's been poking out for the last five k. <laughs> what are you blokes? What are you people thinking? A curry before a long run is a recipe for disaster. <laughs> but it's funny that we we we've done it so many times that we still do it. It's hilarious. All right. Well, hopefully you make it to that bakery. They won't let you in anyway. For you're gonna have to wait. Go, go, you have to go to go to a mac. A bomb's already there. She must have done another loop, but you're a star, hey, junkyard. Yeah. Junkyard hey, said Thanks, mate. a pleasure. Junkyard said he needed hills. So now he's just been living in the hills the last few weeks. Well done. A bomb. Go on your mate out. He needs to go to the dunny. I was I was gonna loop back and get him, but I don't know if I want him now. No, I know. I don't I don't reckon you want him in your car. Just let him <laughs> let him finish on his own. Just yeah. You can wait absolutely. for him, but let him go. You don't need him in the passenger seat of your car. You don't need that stuff. <laughs> Um, I love it. Thanks, love to see, pleasure, mate. Love to see all the dogs walking and all the people walking as well. So have a beautiful, beautiful morning and weekend. We love it. And thank you so much for all your energy. Amazing.